hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new thanks for stopping by um i was planning on doing <laughs> this video at some point but it seems apt to do it now um unfortunately my grandfather passed away not too long ago and we had a little memorial ceremony on zoom the other day because of the pandemic and we were sharing stories basically everybody had a story of you know after a long drive coming through the door and there would be a big pot of clam chowder on the stove waiting for you for dinner and he would have spent you know the second that he knew you were coming planning that dinner and getting it ready so just got me in the mood for chowder I feel like this is a good tribute to his memory. So if you want to know how to make Grandpa's Famous Clam Chowder, keep on watching. So first we're going to cut up five potatoes into bite-sized uniform pieces. You can opt to keep the skin on or off, it's really your preference. I chose to keep it on. And I'm just throwing it all into a bowl so it'll be easier to toss in the pot when I'm ready for it. Now we're moving on to our veggies. We're going to start with onions. God, this onion had such a thick skin, it was so hard to cut into and get all of the outside off. And I'm just throwing the onion scraps into a container that I'm later going to make into vegetable broth. And if you want to see how I do that, I can definitely make a video on that for sure. But for now, I'm just trying to get into this onion so I can cut it up. So I just skipped past that whole struggle and now I'm actually cutting into the onion. The recipe calls for two cups. I took that as about two onions, but you can probably get away with just one. As you can see, my knife technique is very chaotic. Um, I did cry a lot cutting these onions because they were very pungent. I guess you could say it was cathartic, um, but it was mostly annoying. But anyway, when we're finished cutting the onion, we're gonna cut our celery. And I just ripped them up and cut the top and some bottoms off. And you're gonna wanna get about two cups of celery as well. My celery cutting skills are a bit more impressive than my onion cutting skills, as you can see. So we're gonna put that all in a bowl together and we'll be ready to heat up the pot on the stove. So we got a big chowder pot on the stove and we're just letting it heat up a little bit before we throw the butter in to melt. Throw a whole stick in and let it melt completely. Now we're gonna throw in our celery and our onions and later on we're gonna add our seasoning. Now we need a tablespoon of seasoning salt. It should be Lowry seasoning salt, but I didn't have it, sorry Gramps. And two tablespoons each of dill, thyme, and sweet basil. Give it a quick stir and wait for the onions to turn translucent. When it looks like this, stir it real quick and get your potatoes ready to add in. We're putting them all in at once. And now it's time to give the veggies a bath. We're gonna add in four quarts of whole milk and one pint of heavy cream. You can stir this occasionally, but for the most part, you're gonna wanna leave it and let the potatoes cook. While the potatoes are cooking, it's a good time to prep our clams. I prep mine off camera, but it's a really easy process. Open two bottles of Snow's clam juice along with two cans of Snow's brand minced clams. Throw it all into a blender or food processor with six tablespoons of cornstarch and do a quick puree. When the potatoes are about halfway done, you can use your gut instinct on this one or stick a fork in them. Add in the pureed clams and put the lid on the pot. It'll take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to thoroughly cook. Or you could leave it on a lower heat for a longer period of time. We're gonna check on it to see if the potatoes are done. Ooh, it looks really yummy. I've got a fork. I'm just gonna try and grab up a potato. I think there's one. Oh yeah, it goes straight through. So I think it's time to give it a taste test. Let me get a bowl and we'll give it a try. Okay, I know I said bowl, but this requires a full on mug of chowder.
Looks good. I've got my mug of chowder here. I left it on the counter a little bit to cool down because it was super hot, but hopefully I can eat it without burning my mouth. So let's see if I can find some clam. All right, got a potato and some clams in there. It's still steaming hot. That's really good. That is really good. If I close my eyes, I feel like I'm back in this kitchen. The only thing it's missing is oyster crackers. And I just couldn't find any. I don't think I looked hard enough. But wow, it's really good. And it brings back a lot of good memories. I'm gonna put this off to the side. I'm really glad I attempted this. <sighs> it's just nice to be able to recreate those memories and just have a little piece that you can take with you of somebody. <sighs> so. I'm glad I did this. And now the whole apartment just smells like my grandpa's house. So it's not just a good plate of food. It's, you know, basically my whole childhood and then some. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.